Welcome to Potter's training video on how to add a dialer module and how to program the dialer on the PFC 4064. First we will add and program a UD1000 module. To do this you'll need to press enter on the keypad, navigate to number 6 programming, enter the default code of 1111, then go to number 1 system setup, Press the down arrows to get to number 5, P-Link Devices. Then you'll press number 2, Add New Device. Press number 1 for UD1000, which is the dialer. And now that the device is added, you will need to go in and edit that device. So we press 1, and it's going to ask you now, so we'll press down to get to the dialer. Press Enter. Now you can edit the name of the styler. You can adjust line 1 or line 2 setup. In order to enter the setup you'll need to press enter. You can enable or disable phone line 1 or phone line 2. Enable answer machine bypass. Enable or disable line monitoring which is checking for the voltage in the telephone line. Enable or disable dial tone detection. Choose the number of rings in which the panel will pick up if dialing into the control panel or the line prefix. If you have to enter a number to dial out, you would enter that here, such as a 9 to dial out. After you've made your changes, press escape to get to the previous menu. Then you can press the down arrow. You can choose what method of priority, whether it's the first or secondary priority method. Press the down arrow again to get to account setup. Press enter. You can have up to five accounts for the dialer. Press enter on account number one. You can choose what event types to send to the central station, such as alarm, trouble, or supervisory. You can report by panel, zone, or point. Panel being general signals. Zone is by software zone, and point is by specific point. You can set up your primary phone line. Press enter. This is where you'll enter your account ID. The format, which is contact ID or SIA the phone number of your receiver at the central station. Don't forget to check mark or report your test signals and then exit to exit the application. Once you've made all your changes keep pressing escape and keep pressing escape until it says press 1 to accept all changes then press enter to confirm those changes. The panel will now restart Now I'll demonstrate how to program the built-in IP communicator. Press enter on the keypad. Navigate to number 6, programming. Press the default code of 1111. Then we will go to number 1, system setup. Then we press the down arrow until we get to number 7, IP reporting. Then you press number 1 for add IP dialer. Once in this menu, you cannot edit the reporting path, but you can edit the priority. You can choose whether it will be the primary or secondary reporting method. You can add an account. Press number 3. Account 1 has been added. Press any key. Press the down arrow to get to that account. Then we'll go to number 4, Account Setup. You can change the event type. Event types would be whether you want to report alarms, troubles, and supervisories. Report by option would be whether you want to report by panel, zone, or point. Then primary setup would be the account ID, the DNIS, the format of what you choose to send to the central station. Report test, don't forget to check mark this or enable it. Receiver IP information, the UDP port of the receiver at the central station, the supervision interval, and then the encryption if it's being used. The encryption key and then simply once you have made your changes press escape and then keep pressing escape until you see press 1 to accept these changes and then press enter to accept. For more information in regards to data sheets, manuals, or additional training videos, please visit our website at www.pottersignal.com.